Hey, trans youth. Um, okay, so the question today is actually about children transitioning at an early age, um, as in children's dysphoria. Um, it's pretty well known that dysphoria can actually exhibit itself um, pretty early in life, like from four or five even. And there are a lot of transsexuals who would actually explain themselves as um, having known since birth. Um, I'm not one of them, so I don't really know what their thoughts are on that. Um, but it's pretty interesting because scientifically, um, there's a lot of research going on into how this affects the child. Um, whether or not it's better to put them on hormones before puberty so they grow up as a female or to actually go through the trauma of the puberty that they don't want because um, there has been several um, things talking about um, children growing out of it when they hit puberty which I think probably won't happen um, too often. Knowing that um, there's also the flip side of it where it could be very traumatic going through a male puberty when you want to be female and when your sister is going through it at the same time. Um, there's actually a lot of um, documentaries on it. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Um, it was a British documentary and they followed this five-year-old named Aya um, for seven years, I think, just to the beginning of her puberty. And um, it was decided that she would go on a hormone called like LGHT or something like that. Um, that would literally stop the puberty until she grew older. And then the documentary ended. And they were supposed to do a second documentary purely about that decision and how it affected her and um, I don't really know how it turned out because I didn't watch the other documentary I'm not actually sure if it's out yet but it's an interesting argument now my opinions on it um, I think that having a person stall puberty um, is kind of cruel um, because puberty comes with a lot of mental aspects as well. Um, it comes with a growth of the brain in reaction to the body and um, it could damage some of the analytical skill of the child, some of the intelligence. Um, I don't actually know if that's scientifically proven or anything but I would assume if you're stopping the puberty then you're probably stopping some process in the brain. Um, so I'm not really too sure how I want to answer this question. Um, I would have to say a child going through hormones before puberty is missing a lot out on a lot. Um, if possible, I would want them to go through the beginnings of puberty um, to see if there's any hints of them deciding against this fact or um, wait until close to the end of puberty to give them the hormones. Um, that's actually happened several times. There's been a lot of um, males that were given hormones to go to female um, at like the age of 14 and there's really no difference, no problem that I've seen from it. Um, there's plenty of boards out there what that will tell you and everything like that. So. Um, I don't know. I guess it's okay as long as the kid understands what's going to happen. Um, if the kid's been in a dress since like the age of five and then goes through puberty and is suddenly a football player, then um, I could understand how ha having given him hormones would have been bad. But we don't actually know that. We can't tell the future of the child. Um, and right now, we can pretty much determine the future. Um, further, hormones also has this effect of being the end-all to the whole situation. Um, when you're on hormones and you suddenly go suicidal, probably wasn't your best choice. 
um, when you're on hormones and you're the best person you can ever possibly feel you are, good choice. So um, hormones could definitely help with the suggestion and the selection and everything. Um, so you can see how there's like this duality, two ways of doing it, and I'm kind of stuck on the fence. Um, so if I had to pick one, I would say there are more pros than cons in giving it to them earlier, but um, waiting and seeing is the cautious thing. So probably want to go with the latter, um, waiting and seeing. Um, now I honestly don't mind if you choose the first one because as you can see I'm also stuck. Um, I'll have to do a little research on it. Maybe I'll toss another video up on my personal channel or whatever. Um, but that's my decision. Um, probably not the best idea. Wait until after puberty. Seems to be a good response. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, answer to the question. Uh, if you have any other questions, keep in mind we still need this to go. You were really good about it last week, and you've been really good about it this week, but we do need more. Um, we need more questions um, so that we can continue this channel. And by all means, ask your question no matter what it is. Um, there is one thing, though, that I kind of neglected. Um, if you're going to ask a girl specifically um, in Gmail, make sure it's not some Thing that doesn't really need to be asked like I don't know like Kit's really hot and like what's her number that's too personal um, make sure the question is something that can be asked to all of us if it's if it could be taken in a more derogatory manner and if you want to specify one of us make sure the question is appropriate and easy to answer so like because if I were to get a video uh, question um, that I can do a video on, then I'll definitely put it on the personal channel. But I'll probably be asking the girls if they have a take on the question and if, and if we can generalize it. So um, make sure your questions are appropriate if directed at one of us. And um, ask the question in general for all of us no matter how awkward the question is that's kinda confusing kinda contradictory but probably for the better um, we don't really want to single each other out we don't want um, to be put into awkward positions with um, our subscribers um, so yeah that's pretty much it so email us at trendsyouthchannel at gmail.com um, who knows, you might get your question answered by seven of us, which I think is pretty cool. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks. Bye.